In this video, we're going to take a look at how to draw a tree diagram. And I'm just going to use one example here because it, changing the number of things really doesn't make it too different. So the example I'm going to use is uh, we're going to, uh, there's two events. We're going to roll a dice, a normal six-sided dice. It doesn't matter whether it's fair or not. And then we're going to toss a coin. So, in the, so there's the first event, and events go horizontally. So there's, if it's a six-sided die, then there's, it's going to be six branches. So each of these will represent one of the numbers, one through six. So I could put a one here, two, three, four, five, six, and it really doesn't matter what order, although we normally do things from left to right. So that's the uh, rolling the dice. And then, after that, we're going to toss a coin. Now, uh, most coins have a head on one side, a tail on the other, so uh, we're just talking about a normal coin. And so we'll branch out from each of these for the second event, two different branches, uh, a head and a tail for every single one. And so the way you read this, if I were to come down here and then go to there, it means that I got a one on the first event when I rolled the dice, and I got a head on the coin. So I got a one and a head. And then if I come down here, I got a one and then I got a tail. Uh, to get here, for example, you got a three and a tail. To go to this spot right here, you got a four and then you got a head when you toss the coin. And so we can list all the possibilities, all the possible outcomes. Um, if we're getting to probability, uh, you'll hear this called sample space. It's really just a list of all the possible outcomes. And so uh, it, um, you see what a tree diagram is for is really just an ordered way, an organized way of counting something so you don't miss stuff. Okay, so that's what a tree diagram is for. So you could start listing, you know, I got a, a one and a head, a two and a tail, a three and a head, you know, but then it would be easy to miss some possibilities. So that's what uh, a tree diagram does. It puts it in an organized diagram so you can account for everything. Now you can also use to ca this to calculate probabilities, but that's going to be another video. Um, so um, when you get into probability, you may see tree diagrams. Uh, right now we're just talking about counting. Now if you count along here, one more thing, you'll notice that there are 12 possibilities. And if you think um, to the, if you've studied the fundamental counting law, the fundamental counting rule says that uh, if you can perform a first event in six ways and a second event in two ways, then altogether there are 12 ways to do that. And so that's why, if you look in here, there are 12 possible outcomes because there's six ways to roll the dice and there's two ways to roll the uh, coin and so six times two gives you 12. If you want to see what they all are though, of course, uh, you know, there's the list of all the possible outcomes. And that's how to draw a tree diagram.